Elon Musk's SpaceX just unleashed 60 Starlink satellites into orbit. This was two days ago that this happened, of course. SpaceX successfully let loose 60 of its tiny Starlink satellites, and they're intended to bring internet broadband connectivity to people across the world. While it's a good start, the Elon Musk-led space company still has its work cut out to truly bring internet to everybody. Quote, in a year and a half, maybe two years, if things go well, SpaceX will probably have more satellites in orbit than all other satellites combined. A majority of the satellites in orbit will be SpaceX, end quote. This is what Musk said during a conference call last week as quoted by Space.com. This is by Futurism that I'm reading this for you. The satellites launched on top of a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral in Florida last night, last night being on the 23rd of May. And uh, they are not expected, they are, uh, but they aren't the last SpaceX that intends uh, to launch. The Federal Communications Commission FCC approved SpaceX request in November to launch an additional, another 7,518, bringing up the total of approved satellites to be almost 12,000. For the life of me, I can't imagine 12,000 satellites in lower Earth orbit. Anyway, in a May 11 tweet, Musk admitted that much will go likely go wrong on first mission, adding that at least six more launches of 60 satellites, 360 in total, are needed for minor coverage and 12 for moderate coverage. The satellites are not orbiting at the altitude of most other satellites currently in orbit. They are cruising at an operational altitude of just 340 miles, that's 550 kilometers. That's in order to avoid adding to the growing space debris problem. The worst case, according to Musk, they deorbit themselves and burn up in Earth's atmosphere. Now, SpaceX's 60 satellite launch is just the beginning for space, um, for SpaceX. It's just the beginning for Starlink Mega Constellation Project, according to Space.com. The broadband constellation could eventually consist of nearly 12,000 satellites. The 60 internet satellite SpaceX just launched will be put by the will be but the tip of a very large off Earth iceberg, if all goes according to plan. SpaceX lofted the first five dozen members of the Starlink broadband constellation to low Earth orbit (LEO) using one of the company's workhorse Falcon 9 rockets. Starlink is designed to provide internet connectivity to people everywhere in the world, and it will do so using a truly enormous number of satellites. Starlink won't be able to provide minor coverage until about 400 spacecraft are up and running, and moderate coverage requires about 800 operational satellites, SpaceX founder Elon Musk said. But the company does not plan to stop at moderate, he says. In a year and a half, maybe two years if things go well, SpaceX will probably have more satellites in orbit than all other satellites combined. A majority of the satellites in orbit will be SpaceX. Must explained. Now that milestone will come around Starlink launch number 30 with 1,800 satellites delivered to orbit, he said, but the number could rise still higher, much higher. In fact, the Federal Communications Commission granted SpaceX permission to launch a total of nearly 12,000 Starlink satellites. Musk said SpaceX has taken great pains to ensure the constellation does not pose a collision risk to other denizens of LEO for a low Earth orbit. For example, he says Starlink satellites can automatically navigate around other spacecraft and large pieces of orbital debris using tracking data provided by the North American Aerospace Defense Command, the NORAD, that is, and his first batch is headed for operational altitude 340 miles that's 550 kilometers, that's low enough that they'll get pulled down to Earth by atmospheric drag in a few years, 
even if SpaceX does not manage to deorbit them intentionally. So they will be coming down in a few years on their own. Musk said, so I think we've got a really solution a, re a real solution for making sure that we do not create orbital debris. And worst case scenario, the good news there is the atmosphere cleans it up. So it'll burn up in the atmosphere. He's, he, he plans on it, them burning. SpaceX is not the only company eyeing on low Earth orbit broadband constellation. One Web, Telesat, and Amazon have similar goals. Though their workout networks may not be as big as Starlink, OneWeb and Telesat envision constellations numbering in the hundreds, and Amazon's project Kuiper will top out around 3,200 satellites if all goes according to plan, which means that, you know, we're going to have over like 20,000 satellites around us. 20,000, I mean, You'll be looking up at the sky. We won't be really seeing stars anymore. We'll be seeing all these uh, satellites shining around on us. Uh, Starlink is a key part of Musk's long-term plan to help humanity colonize Mars. SpaceX hopes to use Starlink revenue to fund the development of Starship and Super Heavy. The spaceship and rocket company is building to carry people to Mars, Earth's moon and other solar system designations. The uh, launch that took place uh, featured the Falcon 9, whose first stage had already flown twice. It launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Base in Florida, with a booster acing its uh, third ever landing, touching down off space, uh, SpaceX's drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, off the Florida coast. Each Starlink satellite weighs about, it's pretty heavy, 500 pounds, that's half a ton. Well, not half a ton, quarter, a quarter of a ton. That's 227 kilograms. Together, the 60 spacecraft made up the heaviest payload SpaceX ever launched, Musk said. So, we'll see. There'll be more of this coming up. More power to him. That's fantastic. I'll leave you links below. If on SpaceX, you'll see the very interesting videos about four minutes of the launch and the separation from the first and the second stage and you can also see how these satellites are stacked one on top of the other 60 Starlink satellites stacked on the uh, uh, the uh, spacecraft whatever it is you know the, the the rocket and it's amazing they look to be so many 30 and 30 stacked uh, satellites are now in orbit in stacked, still in stacked configuration, whereas Earth shines brilliant blue in the backdrop. This launch took place at night from Florida, so you can enjoy that as well. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.